Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the part two edition of the Kane Kale Show, episode 327. Joining the art industry, isn't that awesome? With special guest Lady Maria, we are going to be jumping back into our motivational speech. We're talking about stuff like the beginning, figuring out if you're even an artist, if you want to be an artist, if you want to join the industry, the reasons why. That's all in part one. That's up here. Click here if you haven't seen that stuff yet. Let's go ahead and jump right back into Lady Maria with my my manly, fatherly beard going on here. I'm talking to you guys like, not like children, but you're my students, right? But you know what I'm saying. It's a figure of speech. I'm a concerned father. I need to talk to you guys about some real stuff. Real stuff today, okay? So we're going to actually get ready to go into some overpainting because I'm liking the way that these colors are coming together. I'm digging this. But overall, I feel like we could change it up a bit. Change it up a bit. And for this, I think I'm gonna go to color balance and I wanna kick some of these lines more blue. I wanna kick some of these lines more towards the bluish red. That looks good. Let's go ahead and lighten this stuff up because we're getting ready to go into overpainting. Immediately. Good. Cool. Um, yeah, that's looking really nice. Looking very nice. Very nice. Uh, I feel like Maria's face maybe could be a little bit more pale. But, eh, whatever. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, guys, so I had you on the edges of your seats, hopefully the last episode with, or last part, we're talking about the crest. We've been going up this hill, and we're about to crest over and get a little bit of downhill, but as we crest the hill, we see the mountain in the distance. The huge undertaking that we're about to undertake, right? And, um, and up until now, it's been struggle. It's been the dark, right? It's been the fall. You've been alone. You, things have been sucking, and it seems like you should be giving up. You should have given up a long time ago, but for some crazy reason, you're still sticking to it. You say stuff to yourself like, if there's not a world where I can do my art, where I can do my craft and and be paid for it and be happy, then I don't want to live in this world, right? It, I've spent so much time on this. I've spent so much time on this and I have slaved away at it. And I thought about it constantly every day. And if I'm not the kind of person that can do this for a living, then this world sucks, right? <laughs> and this actually sounds like it's getting really dark, but it's, it's a figure of speech. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. But that's basically what you're thinking. It's like, it's a do or die attitude. And that's what you gotta realize. And that type of attitude truly gets rewarded because now you're coming up to the crest. You're coming up to the chance, the chance you've been given. It descends from the clouds, right? Descends from the clouds. And in this case, it was Riot Games who finally got back to me after I had applied and uh, and I had been doing fan art. I've been doing fan art other game and posting it to my DeviantArt and I was getting attention on the forums and stuff like that. And so eventually, uh, right, I mean, this is back when you could actually like, post images on the forums. I think they changed that up now, but, uh, but regardless, you know, there's plenty of other, you can post it on the Overwatch, you know, LOL Overwatch. And that's, or, no, LOL Overwatch, the LOL Reddit. <laughs> our League of Legends or whatever it is, right? You can be posting it there. And uh, you gotta be getting your stuff out there for people to see, okay? Because unfortunately, as much as we would like to believe this, people just don't know that you exist. People don't know you exist until you have something to offer them, okay? That was one of the biggest things that I learned early on is that, you know, it's okay for me to be a little selfish, because everybody else is too, right? Everybody doesn't, they don't care about your existence until you have something to give them, okay? And when you are armed with that knowledge, once you can get past that of like thinking, of, once you get past the point of like, like, oh no, I can't think that, right? I wanna think, everybody, there's just good people out there that just wanna help. And, and there are, right? But again, you're stacking the cards against you. You're stacking the cards against you that those are gonna be, that's gonna be everybody that you meet. So, it's better to operate under um, the more realistic standpoint of, hey, you know what? I think people don't really give a crap about me unless they got something to get from me. So why don't I work on that? Why don't I work on the thing that I'm going to give? Why don't I work on the thing that I can contribute to the team and how I can make this company grow bigger and make it look better and uh, get people excited about it? 
you know, get started on that stuff. Don't be afraid to be selfish with your own skills and your own desires because realize everybody else is doing the same thing. And in your own time and in your own heart, you can choose whether or not you want to be completely charitable and, and help other people. You know, that's, that's on you. But that doesn't make you a good or bad person for doing that stuff. You do that for the joy and happiness that it brings you. But don't do it because you feel like you have to. Because you feel like you want to be a good person. And that's what a good person does, right? Don't, don't fall into that crap. A good person is what you decide they're going to be, right? You just by yourself. You by yourself, by this time, by this time, if you are trying to work on a skill and you want to be something more than just the bare minimum and you want to work at a job where you actually have something that other people don't have and you have a skill that you've worked for years on, then it is not that. It is not anything that you should ever be ashamed of feeling like, okay, now what am I going to get? What am I going to get out of this and what can I give to somebody else, right? More so, more eloquently, what this skill that I can give to other people you know, is like, now what do I want from that? Okay. All right, good. I'm glad I got that out. Glad I got that out. Okay. So let's talk about the crest people. The moment when you get your chance, how do you get lucky and how to get noticed? Okay. Now this is one of the most common things that I get. I'm a, the most common question I get is how do I get noticed? Hey, there's this uh, summer internship that uh, Pixar is opening up or Blizzard Entertainment is opening up and I really just want to get noticed, but how do I do that? I really need to put a lot more blue in this skin to make it look more pale. Ah, there we go. There we go, going pale. Um, and the answer is, you gotta put yourself out where people are gonna see it, okay? And I know that's like, literally probably the most, the most obvious thing that anyone's ever said. But people fail at this, people fail at just the most mundane, normal, like, it's literally like, it should be common knowledge, right? It's like, well, how do I get noticed? Well, are you putting things, putting your art where people would notice it? Hmm? Like on ArtStation, like on DeviantArt, like on the Reddit. And they're like, well, no, I just posted on my Instagram that has like 50 people following it. And it's like, no. No, Blizzard isn't on your Instagram. They don't care about your Instagram. They don't care about your <laughs> they don't care about your artwork interspersed with the food that you ate. They don't give a crap about that. They don't give a crap about seeing you with your family at Christmas time. It's like they're not going to be there. They're not going to be there. But you know where they are going to be? They're going to be on the Reddit after one of the guys at uh at Blizzard Studio is uh, not necessarily doing his job, but he's like kind of perusing Reddit and he's, you know, he's got it on the other screen. <laughs> and then he sees something. He's like, whoa, that is an awesome piece of fan art. And then the next time he's in a meeting, right, he's not going to tell anybody that he was slacking off at his job, but he's going to be like, um, the, the team's going to bring up, okay, guys, we need a new artist. We need, now, I really want you to imagine this. Look at my face when I say this, because this is actually stuff that happens. This is actually, oh, happens okay so listen the guys in the meeting and the team says guys we need another promo artist guys we need another illustrator we need another concept artist does anybody have anyone in mind and you might think well what about the thousand people that submitted their portfolios for that job wouldn't they go there first and the answer is no of course they wouldn't because they are going to want they want to do it easy no one wants to sit down and look through hundreds and thousands of crappy portfolios. The first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna say, hey, does anybody know somebody who can do this? And then that guy that saw your thing on Reddit, or that guy that saw your thing on ArtStation, right? He's gonna be like, hey, what about this guy? I saw this really cool piece of fan art that he did. And uh, yeah, look, it's like uh, this diva right, right here. Right? And uh, I mean, <laughs> of course I just did a diva piece. I'm not talking about my own piece. I am proud of that piece. I'm actually really happy. Like, I'm glad that you guys really received that really well because I worked hard on it. And I feel like I tried really hard to capture a feeling in that. And I feel like it resonated really well. And that's why um, it was received well. So I was, I was really proud of that. I was really proud of that. And I really appreciate you guys going on there because I'm sure that you told your friends about it too. And you're like, hey, look at this piece from Kane Kale or whatever. And, uh, and I just 
I want you guys to know that, that really means a lot. It really does mean a lot that you guys do that. And it's interesting, okay? Because there's this weird seesaw effect, right? Because it's like, well, I wish that people would be talking about my art so that way I could get noticed. And, you know, it's like, it's that same saying. There's a saying that says, like, the hungry, the, the hungrier you are, the, the less likely you're going to get fed. That type of thing. It's like the people that get the attention, the people, I know this sounds really full of myself, but just bear with me because I'm trying to just be real with you guys. And it's like, I look at myself now, right? I look at myself now where people enjoy the things that I do. They enjoy the work that I do. And, um, and people like, they, they like it, right? They, they think I'm cool, right? People like me and, and I'm like popular or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. But then I asked myself, where were these people back when I needed them? Where were these? No, I came out wrong. Not that I don't need you guys, but you get what I'm saying. It's like, where were these people back when I was trying to get noticed? Why didn't I get all this attention when I needed it? And now that, you know, I've already gotten like a job professionally and now everybody, now everybody wants to come around and say how much they like the stuff I'm doing. But where were these people before? You know, and it's that, that same old thing. You got to be... You got to be able to make that crest. You got to be able to get to that tipping point. Think of it as like, in, okay, well, Bloodborne right here. Prime example. Prime example is Bloodborne. Um, oh, this eye is looking good. Okay, so I cheated a little bit on this, guys. I cheated a little bit because like most of Maria's face is covered. So I don't have to worry too much about making a super proportional face. I can just kind of draw an eye in there and your imagination will fill in the rest. A little secret for you. But, uh, and again, I'm trying really hard not to sound full of myself here, but at the same time, I'm trying to give you my honest opinion about my experiences, right? So I hope you guys can understand. And uh, to be honest, now that I'm on the subject of <laughs> being full of myself, <laughs> to be honest, anybody who's uh, offended and has stopped watching, uh, or actually anybody who's offended has probably already stopped watching, so I know that those of you who have stuck around are actually going to get the best value out of this and you guys are going to appreciate what I say. Um, so yeah, if you were offended, then I don't really care because you don't deserve to hear what I'm about to say. You don't deserve to hear the knowledge that I'm about to drop on you. About to drop on you. And that is getting lucky, getting noticed. Okay, now, <laughs> I just hyped it up and now I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Yeah, but you should be posting stuff where people are going to notice it, okay? Because that, that, <laughs> the freaking story about the guy going into the meeting and being like, hey, this guy I saw on Art Station, that actually happens. That's how it happens 90% of the time. We're not looking at your portfolio. We're not reading your cover letter. We're not looking at your Instagram. We're looking at stuff that we like. We're looking at stuff that's going to help us get where we want to go. We're gonna get where we want to go first, and then yeah, you can kind of get you know what you want too along the way. It's a win-win, and that is really what it's all about, guys. You got to be looking for win-wins. You got to be asking yourself, how is this? How are the skills that I'm developing going to help a company? How are they going to help somebody achieve their dreams? Stop thinking about your own dreams for a moment. Think about somebody else's dreams. Think about how you're going to help Riot Games. You know they're already like the biggest MOBA in the in the industry. You know, but how are you going to make it even bigger? How are you going to help them launch a new game, maybe? Because League of Legends is like freaking dying and they need something else, you know? <laughs> how are you going to do that? How are you going to help them with that? And what skills can you bring to the table? And once you focus on that, once you focus on that, then you become a very valuable asset. Then all of a sudden, hey, everybody wants you on their team. Everybody wants you to be a part of their company. Everybody wants to pay you. And you find yourself in a nice, happy place where you're just like, yes. I will loan you my skills. I will give you my skills that I've worked for years and years to acquire and I've slaved away upon. Yes, I'll give you that happily. And then again, it's that win-win. Okay, so that talks about the crest. Um, the moment you get your chance and how you get lucky. Okay, make sure people know you exist, guys. Get your stuff out there. Put it on, put it everywhere that you possibly can. Um, another good example is like you draw a picture, right? Don't think of it as just that one thing. ArtStation is awesome and way better than DeviantArt because of their layout. You can post a finished picture and then below that in the same post, you can put all of your, all of your thumbnails, all of your progress, all of your process. 
and people can see that. And I really wish DeviantArt would do something like that. Um, but they're probably not going to. And Well, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, yeah, get that stuff out there where people can see it, guys. Get it out there. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Liking this. Let's talk about the climb. Now the real work begins. Do you remember the mountain I was talking about? The real work is about to begin, people. Because you got the job. You're now at Blizzard Entertainment. And you're now at Wave Dash Games. You're now at uh, the company that you've always dreamed of. Since you were a young child playing their games. You are now there. And now you have to learn a whole new set of skills. You got to do it all over again, right? <laughs> you go in there and they're like, oh, hey, you can draw pictures. That's great. But now we need you to learn a whole new set of skills. And you want to know what that is? It's how to work with a team. It's how to work with other people. It's how to work with people that are not like you. It's how to give and receive good feedback. Learning how to politely but bluntly tell somebody that their work sucks and what they need to improve upon, right? And at the same time, you being willing to hear the same thing about your work, being willing to be vulnerable, being willing to show your stuff when it's not the best, trusting in yourself, learning to trust yourself, learning to get to the point where you can confidently execute. So let's get into that. Okay, so when I was at Riot Games, the first thing that I learned was that you cannot overload yourself. The first thing you have to learn to do in terms of respecting yourself is learning what your limits are and not being afraid to say no. Now, this is much easier said than done. And you're probably going to, I mean, I feel reluctant telling you this because more often than not, you're going to learn this the hard way. You're going to learn this the hard way and it's going to happen because you are probably going to injure yourself. You're probably going to say yes to too many projects and you're going to want to please too many people and you're going to work through the night and you're not going to rest and you're going to jack up your hand. You're going to jack up your hand and that's just the beginning of it. It's going to go down your, it's going to go up your forearm all the way to your shoulder and down your back to the point where you can't stand up anymore. <laughs> or you can barely like move to get out of bed in the morning. And that's a terrible place to be. Absolutely terrible place to be. And at that point, you'll finally realize, hey, it is totally fine for me to say, no, I'm not going to do that. And here's how you word it. Because a lot of people are like, oh, well, I can't just say no to my boss. I might get fired. No, here's how you do it. Because remember what I was talking about, that win-win? Here's another real practical piece of advice. I wish I would have loaded this talk up with more of those, but here's another one. Think of it, whenever you want to say no to somebody, think about, well, what's in it for them? How are they gonna benefit from you saying no? And here's how you do it. You say the following. I'm not confident with committing to that project given the time that I have. I don't want to commit to something that I'm not confident that I can give you my best work, right? And when someone hears that, they'll be like, oh, wow. Wow, he actually cares enough. First of all, he respects himself enough to say that he has limits. But second of all, he actually cares about the project. He cares about the quality of what he's going to create for me. And that will gain you a lot of respect. It will gain you a lot of respect when you finally say to somebody, I'm not confident with saying yes to that because I will not be able to give you my best work. Now, if you're okay with me not giving you my best work, if you're okay with it being a little bit of a rush job, then okay, I can do this. But you have to know, again, that has to do with you knowing your limits and knowing what you can do. Sure, you can take shortcuts. Sure, you can uh, get it out by you know the next day, but let them know. It's not going to be good. It's just not going to be. And ask them if they're okay with that. And if they say yes, and then you show up the next day and you say, here it is. This is the best I could do. And they're like, it's not good. And you're like, well, that's, I completely warned you about that. And that's what you get. That's what you get. And they're like, oh yeah. So even if they are disappointed, it's like, oh yeah, well, he did respect me enough to tell me that this is what would happen. Okay. So 
That's my best advice to you guys with learning to say no. Uh, yeah, that whole bit about like, I'm not confident doing this because like I know my limits and I'm not gonna be able to give you my best work. People love that. People love that. People love to hear that. I know I do. I sure love to hear that. Anytime, like if my, if somebody I was hiring said that to me, I'd be like, wow, that's really awesome that they care enough. Not only do they know their limits enough that they could say that, but they care enough about the project. That they're willing to not waste my time and give me false expectations. Okay. Because that's more what's annoying is that you tell somebody yes, and they have this expectation. And then when, sure enough, when you disappoint them, that's what the annoying part is. Not necessarily that you said no, it's that you got them all hyped up. So don't do that. Don't do that ever. Okay? Dang, this is looking cool. Looking really cool. I want to do a little more um, work on the face. I want to get that thing looking really good. And then we can go in there. And I really want to, like my final idea for this was I wanted to like splash some blood across her. Uh, like she just finished like messing you up, right? <laughs> because we all know how hard Lady Maria was the first time we fought her. After that, we kind of learned how to deal with her, but she's freaking hard. Even after going back to Bloodborne, I just recently went back to it after not playing it for a few months. And she just kicked my butt, dude. She just whooped on me. And I was like, oh man, I thought I was good at this game back then, but man, you kind of forget. You forget, so you go back to it. But yeah, we're going to splash a little bit of blood on her, do a little bit more... Um, refinement on that this is looking good check this out guys here's our little over paints thus far let's go ahead and create a new layer and let's talk about the top after you finish the climb after you finish the climb you're going to get to the top and it's not as amazing as you might think it is because at this point you have become a master you have the the work of 20 years now comes to a head and you reach the top of the mountain. And you're up there with your coworkers. You're up there with your friends. And you said, hey, guys, we did a pretty good job. We did a pretty good job here. Proud of us. And then you know what happens? You say, oh crap, now what? Now what do I do? Because up until now, I've been so excited about just always trying to get somewhere. I'm always trying to like get to the next thing. Dang, I gotta really focus on this nose. <laughs> Actually, no, I should not focus. I should relax. I should relax as I draw this nose. Aha! Yes. Very good. Um, but yeah, you get to this point where you're just like, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do now. Because I got the job. I became a professional. I achieved dream. And now I'm kind of bored. Now I don't know what to do. And this is the point where you have to either find yourself another mountain to climb or you have to create your own. And that's what I decided to do. I decided I was gonna create my own. Um, so when I took off from Riot back in, oh, was it like 2012? Yeah, I decided that I was gonna make a comic because I always wanted to. And I did, I made it, it's called Emma, you can go read it. Um, I haven't finished it, I need to finish it, but I got four issues out. And I created something from nothing, which was my real goal. I just wanted to get to the point where I was like, yeah, you know what, I did it, I made something. And uh, that was a really good feeling. It was a really, really good feeling to do that. And I'm really, really happy, I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, and eventually I do wanna get back to it. And you guys like, Ah, uh, you guys with all your fan art and stuff. Oh, uh, you guys do the most awesome fan art. It makes me so, uh, makes me miss the comics so bad. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for the awesome fan art. And thank you for reading. Thank you for reading the comic. That's what I really, really, truly appreciate. Uh, let's see if we can figure out these lips really quick because Lady Maria has very, very pale lips. It's very pale lips, and I don't want to overstate them. I don't want to overstate them. So maybe something like that. A little something like that. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, that totally looks like I know what I'm doing. Let's continue with that. But, uh, oh yeah, going back to what I was saying. Okay, so you, uh, you take off, you decide, hey, 
I'm kind of bored. I need to do something else now. And that staggering feeling of like, well, why did I get bored? Did I was did that mean that I chose the wrong path and that everything up to this point was a waste and I should have done something else? No, it just means that you kind of got to the top and now it's time to do something else. Now it's time to take those skills and realize that, well, first of all, I mean, the true journey is never over. There's always, I mean, look at this right now. I mean, this face, this face definitely could use a lot of improvement and I can get a lot better at a lot of things. Um, but let's see, where, where was I going with that? <laughs> oh yeah, you're a master of your craft, now what? Okay, so there's the top, you're at the plateau. And it's a bit of a lonely place because this is a place that not a lot of people get to. It's not a place that a lot of people get to. Um, most people gave up a long time. You remember that point? Remember back at the freaking fall? The dark moment alone? That's where everybody else gave up. You just kept on going. You kept on going. They're all still way back there. And uh, yeah, and now you find yourself kind of alone again. You find yourself alone again. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling. It's a very, very weird feeling. But anyway, let's get back. Okay, you can see me like here, like smoothing this out. Like when in doubt, I always go in here and like smooth this skin out. Really helps a lot, really helps a lot. That looks awesome. That looks really awesome. I like it. I dare say I like it. Go ahead and zoom in on this face. I'm always a fan of making good looking faces. Always a fan of that. Let's see, I wanna give her just a tad bit of uh, a little bit more definition on this lip. Let's give it a little shine right there, a little shine on. Let's give her, I really like this little kind of slight smirk that she has. Like she knows that she's gonna own you. She knows it's your first time back to Bloodborne in a few months and you forgot about the mechanics of this boss and she is going to wreck you. Good. That's what I want people to feel. Um, yeah, but it's a little boring. It's a little boring. So you have to ask yourself, what next? And uh, for a while there, it was the comic. But sure enough, after a while, I started to realize it's almost like you do the entire cycle over again. Remember back when we were talking about values, asking yourself why you wanna do something and being okay with admitting to yourself that you have some selfish reasons why you wanna do what you're gonna do. You kind of go through that again and you say, okay, I created this comic and I've done it for a while, but there's still something that's not really being satisfied here. What is that? I'm actually, I'm really happy this face is turning out good. I, was, uh, this is, I feel like this is adding a lot of, um, <laughs> this is giving my argument a lot more uh, relevance. <laughs> Cause it's like, oh man, he actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> and I am very thankful for that. Very happy this thing turned out, is turning out well. Um, oh shoot, now I forgot what I was saying, dang it. <laughs> um, this would be a really good time for the stream to help me out, but I am not streaming right now. Oh yeah, asking yourself about your values again and being okay with, with uh, being selfish and saying, hey, what I'm doing, I thought was what I wanted, but I'm still not happy. There's something I'm missing here. And I asked myself that question. I said, I set out to make my comic and I did. And now I'm kind of, again, not fully happy. I'm not fully happy with what's going on. And I realized that I missed my team. I missed the camaraderie of working with other people and being able to achieve a vision together and struggle together and hear uh, positive and negative feedback and pushing each other. I miss that. And so I realized that I wanted to get back to work. I just wanted to get back to work. And so I did. And uh, everything seems like it's been working out pretty well so far. Okay, so, uh, and, and that leads me to the next thing, okay? So now you've arrived to New Game Plus because you're doing the entire thing over again. And yes, the challenges are going to increase. But after this, after this, it's like you have, imagine you're playing Bloodborne, you go into New Game Plus. It's like, yes, the, the enemies increase in difficulty a little bit, but you've got your level 10 weapon, 
you got you know you know how the the mechanics of the boss fights work and you have experience and that same thing applies to life it applies to your career because sure enough you're going to you're going to hit the top of the mountain you're going to plateau you're going to go do your own thing and then there's going to be another mountain that you want to climb or you're going to create your own and then you're going to take those experiences that you learned the entire way and you're going to put it into that new venture you're going to put it into that new thing and uh, that has to do with the creation the creation, that's what I call it. The creation of a new mountain or setting out to create with others. And uh, yeah, I just really feel that that's where a lot of, that's where a lot of magic, that's where the magic is. Is, well, not just like in creating with other people, but asking yourself that question once more. Starting the new game plus. Instead of, you know how at new game it says, do you wish to depart again or do you wish to start your story over again? That same thing happens. The same thing happens at, at the, this point in your career. But the question is now different. The question is, what is it that you want to get out of this cycle? What is it that you want to get out of this cycle? Is it more experience? Is it more money? Is it more fame? You know, Do you want those same values? Are you, gonna, uh, are you going to pursue those same values but at a greater scale? You know, and There's nothing wrong with that too. And uh, then you do it all over again. And you go do it every every single time every single time you do it over and over again and you ask yourself questions values reasons the things that you know they're going to keep you going and for the longest time i had trouble with this it's not easy you, you say oh well those questions sound easy to to answer but they're not sometimes they're not sometimes you weigh like well do i want do i like the freedom that comes from having a stable salary job or do I like the freedom of knowing that I can, at any time, just do whatever the heck I want, right? I can paint whatever I want. I can go wherever I want, you know? But with that comes a little bit more instability. Ideally, you wanna have both. And I think eventually you can get there, but you gotta go through the cycle a few times. You gotta go through the cycle a few times. Hey, that's awesome. Her face or her mouth looks a little bit too far forward. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that with the magic that is called the liquify tool. <laughs> or actually, we might be able to just grab this mouth and move it back. Cause I try not to, I try not to go to the liquify tool right off the bat. Ideally, what I like to do is I'll just kind of duplicate the mouth, like see right here, duplicate the mouth, and I'll kind of move it to where I feel looks more natural. Like right there looks much better. And let's go ahead and make some minor changes to the face. Ah, uh, yes, yes, there we go. Now let's move into the final chapter of our story and then we're gonna end today's show. We're gonna end today's show. And what a show it has been. What a show it has been. I hope you guys have gotten some good value out of this. I hope I give you guys some good ideas that you can go out Maybe get yourself a little excited, right? A little motivation. But, and, and realize that you gotta, if anybody's gonna make it happen, it's gonna be you, okay? Do not kid yourself, okay? And that's kind of what I wanna finish today with, is that uh, finding yourself, finding yourself, and understanding that you can't kid yourself any longer, okay? Probably the main things that I want you guys to take out of this is that understanding that nobody else is gonna work on your dreams for you. I know that sounds really silly and like crappy. Sounds like something that your loser friends post on Facebook. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, the, the freaking sunset. The freaking sunset picture with some white text on it with some motivational crap on it. Uh, yet, do you notice that uh, all your actual successful friends never post that on their Facebooks? Hmm, very interesting. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> now, I again, I say it half jokingly, because I used to love that stuff. I mean, I wouldn't post it on my Facebook, but I loved reading books about that. I loved just listening to motivational quotes, right? I thought quotes were the secret, but I thought that there was a secret, right, to success. I thought there was a shortcut, but I found out, no, there's not. There's not a shortcut. In fact, all the people that are selling you that stuff, they know that there's not a shortcut. They know that there's not a shortcut, and they're, but they're using their knowledge that they've acquired from taking the long way, 
to kind of mess with you. And I know that sounds crappy, and I know that sounds really... I mean, but that's my opinion, okay? It's my opinion, it's my show, and I get to say whatever the heck I want, so isn't that awesome? If you disagree, then you can make your own show. As I like to say, if you don't like it, you can suck it. <laughs> right? That's my most famous line, I think. Right, but let's go ahead and finish this off, because you guys have sat around for this entire thing. You've watched me paint this Lady Maria. You deserve something good to be sent off with. So, let's conclude. Let's conclude with, um, yeah, not kidding yourself. Don't think for a moment that you can escape the, the true rule of the world, and that is that you've got to have something. You've got to have something to give. You gotta have something for somebody to use. You gotta be able to improve somebody's company. You gotta be able to improve somebody's life. Otherwise, you're just not going to be valuable. You're not gonna get what you want unless you can give somebody else what they want first. That's just the major, major rule of the world. And, you got, and the sooner you accept that, the sooner that you accept that, the sooner you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> So you're going to get out of your own way and you're going to get excited about it. You're going to get excited about helping other people. You're going to get excited about providing. Uh, you're going to get excited about developing your own skills and letting people use them. Letting people use it for their own gain. And naturally, as you do that, you'll develop your own self-confidence. You'll develop your own self-worth. And you're going to be able to do whatever the heck you want. Whatever the heck you want. Alrighty. Woo! That is pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. I like that. Definitely could uh, improve the metals and stuff like that. Like, do you see how, like, the materials, they're pretty good, but they're not 100% there. This is definitely something that I would want to work on. And maybe we'll even do, like, a part two with this. Maybe we'll continue this next week. I don't know. We'll see. It was really just meant to be a sketch. Let's see if I continue it. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna put blood on it and stuff too, right? I guess we could do that real quick. Why not? Put some quick blood on it. Just to make it a little interesting. A little interesting for the thumbnail. So let's go ahead and get a nice dark color. Let's go ahead and put some blood spatters. Maybe we'll have like a design like this. I want a little bit on the face too. Maybe a little splotch, like right there. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, and I'm starting this out dark. I'm starting out dark, as you will notice, because eventually what we're going to do... Let's see, do I want it to have, like, a drip here? Oh, yeah, a drip would look cool. Um, eventually what we're going to do is we are going to add some texture to this. This is ideally what I would do with the metals as well. In fact, maybe that's what I'll go into next week. It will go into refining uh, materials next week. I think that would be really cool. Okay, so we got blood. This entire thing should just be caked in blood. Get some blood here. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Don't want it too much, don't want too much. I know Bloodborne's a little crazy, but we don't want to get too crazy. Yeah, look at that. Maybe a little on the hat, too. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. I want a little bit on the hair, too. Just a little bit. Maybe there and a little bit there. Just on the edges. Just on the edges. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and get in there. Let's go ahead and lock our pixels. Let's lock the pixels because we have our blood layer, right? Just put that on. Now let's go ahead and get in there and start adding some highlights. I'm gonna go ahead and desaturate this a little bit. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice blood look. I'm trying really hard to think outside of what I usually do and really refine this blood. So I'm gonna start with like the highlights, which will probably look something like this. Some highlights in there. Pretty okay, not bad. 
feel like I want to have a little bit more gradation happening in here. Yeah, there we go. A tad bit more gradation. So right there would look good. Ooh, yeah, that looks awesome. And a little bit more of this. I'm gonna darken it in a couple key areas. I'm gonna make it look black. A couple key areas. Like right here. Right here, that would be like nearly black. That would be black too. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more red to the hair. I mean, not that red. There you go, that looks good. Lighten up some of the edges. There you go. Yeah, you know, I'm digging that. I'm digging that, people. I want a little bit of like reflection off of this. Blood is going to have a little bit of reflection, I think. Let's try a little bit of blue in there. And mix a little bit of blue. Uh, that's not bad. And alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we are going to end it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's go ahead and put some speculars on. We need some speculars. Almost forgot. Most important part. Let's get in there. Let's add some little speculars in there. That'll really help it to kind of pop off. There we go. That's the blood we like. That is some good blood. Alrighty, people. All right, I won't keep you any longer. We will stay, we will stay with that. I want that to be a little more red. Ha ha, there we go. Alrighty, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end today's show. So, thank you so much for joining me and Lady Maria for our awesome talk on joining the art industry. I hope this helped you guys out. hope that my real talk, I hope that my, my fatherly face and my beard and everything, you can see the concern in my eyes. Okay? The glasses are off. Right? Glasses are off. So, I'm asking you guys to join me, like Winston. I'm saying, are you with me? And if you are, then I would say, get out there, do your research, get going on those skills, and get ready for a long journey because you've got a big one ahead of you. A big one ahead of you, but it is a very rewarding one. It's a very, very awesome, rewarding one. You're gonna meet amazing people along your way. And probably the most important thing of all is that at the end of it, you're gonna have an amazing skill to call your own, something that people want, something people desire, they're gonna want you on their team, and they're gonna think you're cool, right? <laughs> That's the most important thing. You are going to be cool, and people are gonna like you, so <laughs> definitely get those values in order, get that motivation out there. I wish you guys luck, and don't worry, because I'm going to be here with you, I'm gonna be here with you the entire way, okay? If you choose to, if you choose to have me be your mentor, if you continue watching the show, don't worry, I'm gonna be right here with you. Um, once again, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has been supporting the show. Oh yeah, and I will put this PSD on Patreon. So if you wanna go over there and download, just click right here. You can download not only this PSD, all the other ones from the past. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for joining me on YouTube. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. My name is Ken Lafferty. I'll see you guys next week. And until then, you guys take care. See ya.